Hi guys, my name is Theodore, and today is another movie hunting video. I got, I went to this trash and cat world once again, and I got 12 movies once again, and this one was probably one of the best ones I've ever gotten so far, because all these 12 movies are from the studio Uncorked Entertainment. I really cannot believe that the Distrayers in Kentwood has so many Uncorked Entertainment movies. I wish that they had so much Wild Eye movies in the High Tank movies so I can get them instead of Uncorked because now I have so much Uncorked movies than Wild Eye. I don't know what to do. I need to try five How Tank movies for sure. So. The first one here that I got is It Watches. I wanted to get this movie because I like the artwork so much. And I don't know if there was a trailer for it on Tubi, but if there was, then yeah, the trailer was also awesome. Next one is American Exorcism. And yeah, the thing was a little bit torn up, but it was okay. I might buy a new case of this. Soon. Hmm. That's weird. Okay, I'll be right back, guys. Okay, I'm back. Sorry for the wait, guys. I thought I heard something, so I decided to go there. <laughs> so, yeah. Now, off to my next one is Hunting of the. I. Wait. Yeah, Haunting of the Innocent. And. I was thinking about probably getting this because I do love the artwork in this one. I didn't see, <clears throat> excuse me, I didn't see the trailer for that one, but I was interested. So there you go. Next one is, and this one I didn't really want to get because it was weird, and my mom wanted to see it, so I decided just to get get it just for her and I to watch. And I'm just so confused why this one says it's horror, but when I saw the trailer of it, it didn't look horror to me at all. It was for real thrillers, and the movie is called Human Persons. I don't know what kind of movie would be named called Human Persons. <laughs> this one is the one I was really wanting to get for a long, long time, and if you can tell. Um, on my Instagram thing, I had, like, showed you guys, I believe, seven or eight zombie movies of what I should probably get. And I will be definitely getting them all. And I have two so far now. Because the first one I got was Anger of the Dead. But now my second one is The Burning Dead. The Burning Dead I was definitely wanting to get. I was thinking about getting it on eBay because it was so cheap on eBay. But when I looked back at it, it was gone. <laughs> Someone got it. So, yeah. If you might want to get this movie off of eBay or something, this is probably like a good choice to go for, for eBay. And if you're also a fan of Dane Tre Torino, this will, might be your movie that you want to get. I like the artwork of it. And I'm a zombie lover. Zombie and vampire movies, I'm such a huge fan of. This one, I had to get because the trailer looked awesome. Disintegrated. And it does suck that the case is like a little bit broken. And it's like a little bit flattened, like as you can tell. It's a little bit flattened, but it's okay. I can't blame for the trailers to get them. Because all these movies are used, and they're from people that brought them here. So all that stuff. And this one. I really didn't want to get because I'm not a huge fan of demon movies. Not that badly, but this one just looked too weird to me. So I just didn't really want to get it, but I will just get it because I do like the artwork and I just like that the background's red. So that's why I'm interested in the movie in its demon tone. So, yeah. <laughs> Next one. This one was a little bit hard to find. And I did see this movie on Tubi, and it really was not bad. It was weird, but really good. It really will give you the creepy process. 
and it's bloodshed. And I just don't know if it's a zombie, a demon, or just a regular killer or a creature. I don't know what this creature is. Really. I like the movie though. It was really good. And it is really hard to find on Amazon and eBay. But there's just one copy of this. But it's only pre-used I believe. And this one. I'm happy to get because. I love the artwork. Uncorked, Wild Eye, and How Ting make the best artworks ever. But for my opinion I might say that. Wild Eye does the best. Like my number one. And I might say Uncork does the second best. And How It Tings the third. But I still love all of them. And this movie is Hotel of the Dam. And I was thinking to get, I wanted to get this part around in October because uh, it really looked like a good idea to do it so because of ghosts. And yeah, and I just like that on the hotel word is that it's like light up, but the others isn't, but that's okay. Most of the hotels will have to def definitely have that. And the next one, this one I was also happy to get because this one was hard to find on Amazon and eBay. But I should know that on Amazon it is easier to, okay, just don't mind worrying about the song in the background. It's just that stuff is going on. So, um, the, uh, the reason why I think deeper... Like this movie that I got in right here, Deeper. The reason why I think this is probably one of my most favorite ones to probably get in so far is because I saw the... Uh, wait, no. Let me rephrase that. I didn't see the trailer, but like the artwork to me is just probably brutal and cool. Like holding hostage, and it's okay. Like I've been trying to look it off on Amazon, and it was... Saying that it was not in stock yet, but like it's not new, new, it come down until 2015, so it's not really that new, it's just that it's out of stock right now. And yeah, I don't think some people, well, some people do actually carry this on eBay, but it's just gonna be pre owned, anyways. And the next one. I really thought this was a movie that Uncorked and Hunting did together because on their website, I've been seeing this on both websites, Hunting and Uncorked Entertainment. And when I looked at the back of it, I don't see a Hunting pictures on the thing, but I only seen Uncorked. And this movie is Infernal. I've been really wanting to get this so much because it just looks so cool. And the last one, this one I was so happy to get, and it's weird that this one doesn't even have like a, the title name on the side. It also had no title, like from my past of uh, the movies that I've been showing you guys, the movie Cats didn't have like the title on the side, because it was probably from Disc Traders, of course. And this one is Kingdom Come. I really wanted to see this one because it's so cool. It's like a demon kind of movie. And I know I said I'm not that kind of a fan of demon movies. But if it looks cool on the cover, then I'm interested. So yeah. So those were all my 12 movies. And out of all of these, one I might be so excited and so hyped to probably see first is definitely The Burning Dead. Uh, it was like between It Watches and The Burning Dead. Because I like both of the artworks from those two. I really wish that they had the movie um The Shelter because I, I like that artwork but they didn't have it but they could have but probably me and my mom didn't look out really well to see. Well next week we'll be going there again to see how it is again. So yeah this has been my movie hunting video part 8 and I don't know if I'm killing it a little bit lately because there's only just some of you guys that like it, but some of you guys don't. Like, if it's not that entertaining of you, then just don't watch this video. But if you're entertained of what movies I'll be getting from Disc Traders or Amazon or eBay, then just stay tuned. So yeah, that's it.
I gotta go and do some a lot of stuff to do and just stay tuned for tomorrow for a while I releasing video and I also cannot wait for what my package will be and Patrick if you're watching this if Rob has messaged you about when my package will be coming can you please let me know so I can like have keep a track of eye of it when it comes because usually whenever there's so many mailmans coming over here I've been seeing them putting the packages in the wrong wrong apartments because like I can forgive the mailmans because it's just that it's so hard to know what your apartment is because there's a lot of apartments in the same building so yeah it's okay but and if Rob just doesn't know when my package will come, uh, Patrick and Rob, I'll be okay to still wait. But I just want to know, uh, does March actually count as the one month? Because I got my package on March 15. And I just wanted to know if that counted as a one month. But if it doesn't count as one month, then... I might understand it now because I want to know what counts as the one month. Either like March or if it'll be April. Because if March does count, then June, like this month right now, is when I'll be getting package. But if it's not, it'll be either this month, June, or July. That's the only thing I can like tell you all for now. So yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.